Hi there, so this morning we're going to go and meet uh, John Trem, who is uh, the CEO and Director of um, Oxygen. Um, and Oxygen is a fantastic local charity uh, that really helps young people uh, through all sorts of uh, difficult situations um, and particularly during this difficult time. So we're just going to go in and see how we, how we can help. Um, well, I'm now with uh, with John. Uh, lovely to meet you again, John. And uh, this is obviously quite an emotional day because you. You're, this is what the first time the shops opened in 13 weeks or so. Yes, mm. yes, we closed. Uh, I think about the 18th of March. Um, and yeah, we were reluctant to close at that point, but yeah. um, obviously for the safety of volunteers, and we had to then close a couple of days later anyway. But uh, we, we sort of tried to make sure we we're keeping safety of the, the volunteers because a lot of them are, are vulnerable and, and in fact got a lot of health issues as well. So Indeed. we want to make sure that we're protecting them as a first priority. Yeah, and then of course the customers as well. So and you've got everything in in place for the, the social distancing here. I see. I I, <coughs> I hesitate because we've ordered things that haven't arrived yet. I mean, you've, you've probably been about um, sort of young people through the lockdown obviously it's been a very difficult time for everybody but I guess particularly for young people. It has um, and I think the, one, the young people that we work with are marginalised and sort of more disadvantaged than, than normal, some of the normal young people um, and which is difficult to try and get to them uh, in the same way that we would normally because social, social media um, we generally don't use social media to work with young people because we can talk to them face to face and there's a sort of little bit of a, a sort of sensitivity around using social media with young people, rightly so, in terms of safeguarding. So when, it, when we lock down, it's actually a real challenge to try and then engage with young people. Uh, but we've done things like send out packs, uh, activity packs onto King's Impton Estate to all the young people that attend the club. Uh, using some of the money from the Jack Petchy Award, we sort of bagged up these sacks, that little drawstring uh, canvas bag that we delivered actually last week, um, and things like that, just to try and get, make them feel that we we recognise, you know, we know that they're there and we haven't forgotten about them. Um, and we've also put things online as well on our website to sort of help people find activities and, and those sorts of things as well during the lockdown. 